this is going to be a pretty um, boring video for some of you because I'm going to talk about reverence for my Rudrashka beads. So if you have been watching me for any length of time, you've probably seen me in the video wearing this. Okay, I've been wearing this for years. This was a part of me before my spiritual journey, or, or rather while I was on the spiritual journey to awakening, during the experience of an enlightenment, so-called enlightenment, uh, the dissolution of the self, and afterwards, of course. Um, so it's been a part of me, a part of my identity, part of um, my energy. My energy is completely infused in this because I, I've worn it pretty much every day for like five years, if not longer. Um, but I just wanted to share with you, um, anyone who um, cares, and I say that, you know, lightly, it's okay if you don't, it's broken now. So about four weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, it broke. Now, there was a time when I would have been sad about that because this really was something um, that I loved and I still do and was a part of, like, who I am. But as it um, broke, I just I took it out of my bag and saw it was broken. I wasn't actually sad. I was like, okay. Okay, um, it's it's done. It's come to its end, its natural end. Like if you know me, you know I say all the time I don't believe in coincidence. There's no such thing as coincidence or randomness. A thing has happened that cannot be undone. Uh, literally, yeah, that moment is done. It cannot be done any other way. You can think about oh, what if, what if, what if, but at what if is taking place again in the so-called now, and the what if is just not going to change anything so things happen as they happen and cannot be done um, undone so this was supposed to happen okay this was supposed to happen so yeah i'm just sharing with this I'm, I'm sure some of you will find this video interesting because yeah i'm sure you've come to um sort of associate these beads with myself or this particular one or me wearing these beads um again for many years i've been wearing these um yeah and i actually have a new one i want to show you so you see me wearing this in some videos now. So this is my new Rudrashka. And it's interesting that it's orange. Orange is one of my favourite colours. But also it's interesting for the perspective of the chakra system, if you believe in that. I've said many times that don't take it too literally. However, on the actual ladder, it does go red, then orange. Um, so that's interesting. But And also orange is a more uh, playful, light, fun colour than red. Red, of course... Is like passion, but also it's danger. So it's interesting that it's like moving into a lighter um, energy. However, one thing I, I must say about this Rujashka is at the moment, I don't have the same connection to it as I did with this one, simply because of the story. Now, I say all the time, we make stories up, okay? Stories are not that big a deal. Uh, we choose to attach to them or not. However, just in the human life in this this play of life um my ego is very aware that this rajashka came to me almost in a or not almost definitely in a synchronistic way i was in a spiritual shop and um with my reiki teacher and i just saw in the uh, shop in a corner literally in the corner hung up by itself this by itself right there, there were no others and i've been wearing these for years as i said and no one has ever come across anything that looks exactly like this one no one people always say oh where do you get it from where do you get it from when i say south london it sounds a bit boring <laughs> but anyway okay it's it's unique it's a unique one for sure um yeah this one i just got it online um from etsy so of course i i don't believe in coincidence so this is still has a, um, arrived into my life in a synchronistic way but my ego is saying, no, this is more epic. The story of this is more epic. So it's interesting that this hasn't come. Oh, but you know what? Now I'm talking, I'm, I'm thinking, actually, mm, this is actually good learning for me as well. Another um, teaching to remind myself, again, about stories. As I tell you guys, I give advice to you guys, like we're just making up stories about pretty much everything in our life or literally everything. And we don't have to attach to the stories. Um so the story that this has come to me in a more epic way than this is a fallacy. Actually, I'm just talking through my thoughts right now. There's only this moment, like literally this moment where this is broken, so to speak, broken, of course. Um, because technically, you know, the beads are still beads or seeds. 
so that this is interesting actually this is another good um part of the deepening of what i've already experienced yeah this is no has no less value than this one i actually made a video many years ago at the beginning of my awakening that crystals have no more value than a nail than a stone oh this is cool <laughs> this is reminding me actually to oh yeah oh i'm feeling this now if you've been listening to this um moment then thank you um but yeah this is reminding me actually that it's really self us that creates the magic in the world it's up to me to reframe a story that oh this is beautiful and magical this is beautiful this is magical it's up to me that this has power it's up to me it's my intention okay now now this is feeling stronger now <laughs> because I'm, because it's like a, a base like empty layer of energy and i'm going to infuse my intention and my power into this these beads and i'm, I'm going to be wearing it let's see where it takes me oh this was an interesting video wasn't it thank you if you've watched this long uh it's actually six minutes <laughs> wow it's brought me mm. okay okay i won't keep going on but yeah so out of the old in with the new peace